Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we are going to do an unboxing of Cowboys 2, the Cowboys and Indians edition by Worthington Publishing. This has just come off Kickstarter, or it you know, went through a Kickstarter, just fulfilled the Kickstarter, and is now getting in the hands of, of gamers. Uh, one of the cool things is that it does uh, have a solo uh, AI included, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that, if not... Uh, you know, could have just played it as a uh, player versus player war game, but uh, let's crack in and see what uh, what comes inside. It also came with a um, a bonus episode number two and bonus episode number one. We'll show you that a little later because it would kind of reveal what's already in the box. So it they came it came separately. So all right, this has a sleeve. One of those printed wrap sleeves on it, which I'm not particularly a big fan of, but it's pretty. It's got some nice artwork. I know people like it because I think it holds the box together. It's got some nice artwork on here. A uh, little gunfight going on. This is on the sleeve, and there's a stagecoach heading out, so you can uh, uh, satisfy your inner cowboy here, or Indian, however you want to play it. It says it'll play one to 12 players. Wow. And it takes about an hour. So another thing with sleeves is that they're a pain to get off. All right, there we go. The sleeve has that artwork. And then the box has this artwork um, with the Indians coming at the Cowboys. They were very quick in the Kickstarter, I believe as soon as it was it was out to stress that even though um, the respectful term for Indians, which were only named that because Columbus came over and thought he found the Indies and the name kind of just stuck, but uh, they're using the term uh, Indians not to offend, but because of the era and the genre in which this is set, that is a normal, common, acceptable term. So people play, you know, probably most of you played Cowboys and Indians when you were a kid. And uh, we watched The Lone Ranger and loved Tonto and, you know, so on and so forth. So it's not offensive. It's not meant to be offensive. Uh, if you're offended, well, you get a highlighter, I mean, a Sharpie and take it off of there if you want to, or, you know, hand scroll uh, Native Americans or uh, whatever the term of the day. It'll change next week anyway. So anyway, 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 this is about the game. So we're going to talk about that. They were very respectful and don't be offended by the name of the game. So anyway, let's get in here. It's a nice thick, thick box, which is cool. And the artwork is very nice. And we have inside artwork. Spent a lot of time on the artwork. It's very cool. So this is a remake. Uh, I don't call it a remake as much as a second edition. It is a second edition. Um, so it's Cowboys 2. But uh, the first game came a long time ago, uh, or several years ago, a long time ago now, is 2000, and uh, sold out and was not made available. So uh, they worked on revising it, making it better, and then they've added the solo. So that's kind of cool. So you play with these boards, these are your map tiles, and you'll put them together. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six of these. They are double sided. So A is opposite B, C is opposite D, et cetera. So um, looks like here you just got general scrub. Uh, in fact, it looks like the same thing. The back is the same, but that'll be for variety. I mean, you know, just around the town if you need it or, or just random, you know, you can turn them angles and so on and so forth. So, and then you've got uh, different map pieces. You got a wagon here. Obviously things are highlighted in red. Probably means you can't walk through them, uh, but you can shoot through them. I'm guessing. Uh, black brown means you can't shoot through them, you have to go in. Windows you can't go through, so on and so forth. So anyway, we've got train post, bunkhouse, uh, house. Now I'm not so sure, well, you know, obviously it'll be in the rules, but how uh, the terrain on the room, because obviously you're using standees, which is thumbs up for doing standees, because instead of miniatures, it would have been one of the ways people like to go, but standees, Fit the bill, keep the cost down, and if people want to add miniatures on their own, more power to them. But uh, most games, I end up replacing uh, 
miniatures with standees anyway. I have my own, so give a big thumbs up for including standees. So uh, some of the others, we've got a saloon and a bank, as usual, jail. And we've got a hotel, a livery, bunkhouse, another house. I just watched Silverado tonight, so I'm kind of in a Western mood. So saw a ton in the 80s, but watched it again. So we got Undertaker, Dennis, Laundry, Corral, Lawyer, Barber. So the lawyers, that's where all the criminals are, right? And then, uh, no offense, lawyers, gosh. Boarding House, Dry Goods, Bank, Post Office. And last but not least, we have a restaurant, general store, and a saloon. And I guess if you got the Kickstarter is where you got, and I'll show you that now, is where you got the uh, bonus tile, which is M. All right, and this has a different back. All right, this has a wagon compound. It's still scrub. And then the front side has a cemetery, the Boot Hill Cemetery. You got a Ford, and then you got scrub. So that's for a couple of bonus scenarios um, that came. We had Wyatt and Curly Bill and So Close to Home. And see here is how it shows you, you will set up your tiles, but I'm sure there'll be more in here. Scenario cards. I like that this card, at least, printed on cardstock. Again, similar to the way Worthington did Band of Brothers. So it was uh, very nice to have them on cardstock instead of just flimsy paper in a book. All right, so we have the Cowboys and Indians Weekly. Okay, it made it look like a newspaper. And it's your scenario. This is your scenario book. So what I was saying a minute ago for the bonus ones this does not apply here unless they're included as a bonus extra. But here's episode one, episode two. Again, quickly, you know, these are small scenarios. They only take one map. And then this one takes four maps and a square. And uh, tells you the direction they face. So again, you can rotate the scrub and it's not like you just got a repeating pattern. So. So 12, so it includes Wanted, Dead, $1,000, Alive, $200. Not sure who that's supposed to be. They didn't give him his name. Uh, so there's 22 episodes in the, in the game. So that's cool, plus the bonus scenarios. And now we've got the rule book, Cowboys 2 rule book. We've got our game components spelled out. The rule book is, let's see uh 16 pages now it does have this uh character reference sheet um for the episodes that you play through obviously you're gonna want to photocopy this in fact it says photocopies are allowed for personal use uh hopefully they put this for not people who don't have a photocopier hopefully this is available somewhere as a pdf on the worthington site so you can do that um it'd been nice if they included a pad of uh, these just a few just to uh, get you through until you can get to a copier but uh, anyway can't have everything so rule book full color uh, shows you what the counters mean shows you what the cowboys mean we'll look at those in a second obviously that is a cowboy but it's it says cowboy 2 but it is a cowgirl obviously um, how to set it up uh, your actions you can take move use your weapon shoot or change your weapon reload your weapons uh, so it shows you the different actions. Got some examples with illustrations, line of sight, so on and so forth. Worthington makes a lot of good war games, so I'm sure they got the line of sight down. And then we have the solitaire rules coming up here, starting here and going through the game. Here's a solitaire chart, and you figure out what's going on there. Solitaire handicapping, if you want to make it more difficult. And building your own cowboy world and playing role playing and so on and so forth. So, anyway, lots of good stuff in here. 16 pages. Then we've got the solo chart, which gives you information about the, uh, the rules again. Variable damage. Oh, it's so just basically a whole rule. Uh, in fact, it's, there are two of them. They were, well, they were like this, so I thought there were two different things. But they're not. They're just player reference charts, the actions, the modifiers, turn sequence, and then the solo on the back. Two of those nice, glossy, sturdy cardstock. Then we got our counters here. And we got really, really nice thick cut standees. Okay. 
And there is a, oops, there is a cowboy. I should take right here. See so if I can get it to show. Do, 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 do. There you go. Okay, and we've got the Indians in different poses. And on the back side, it shows arrows. I don't know what that's about, but we'll find out. The rules, you got different weapons you can find, steer, and this is sheet one. So they're nice and thick. I'm sure they have standee holders. And then here we've got uh, more counters, got cowboys that are, have active tokens. So we'll figure out what that means. We've got we have the cowboys mounted on a horse or an Indian. I would assume could be mounted on a horse as well. There's uh, some uh, caskets and then some variable terrain that you can add and outhouses, uh, hay bales, rocks, poker tables, uh, so on and so forth to, uh, you know, alter the, the terrain of the game just a little bit more. So two counter sheets, and then we've got a custom tray. Uh, or the intended are doing a good job about making these, so that's nice. We do have two dice and standee holders, which are very nice and we're able to handle the thick cardstock of the counters. That's good. We've got a bag of bags for the different tokens. We've got some yellow markers. Uh, the yellow clear plastic cubes. All right, so those are good. Uh, don't know what they mean. They may be ammo, maybe wounds, so on and so forth. Then we've got our cowboy. Now these are punch board, but they are also already um, punched. So that's kind of nice. Same thick quality of those. So basically you have Cowboy 1, Cowboy 2, Cowboy 3, Cowboy 4, Cowboy 5, Cowboy 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And they have identical backs, so I guess you can shuffle them and pick them at random. So that's what you got there. I guess those trackers are maybe for their ammo, because he's got two six shooters. So on and so forth. So pretty cool. Actually, everybody has two six shooters, it looks like. He has a shotgun and a rifle. She has a shotgun and a rifle. So anyway, I guess everybody has a shotgun and a rifle. All right, so those go back in there. Then we've got this deck of cards. And it looks like they might be a deck of cards. Because they've got Ace, Ace of Hearts there. So maybe there's 50... Uh, 54 of them, if you have jokers. So maybe they're used as a real deck, or maybe that's just thematic, and, or they serve double purpose. It looks like you got a whole deck. You got eight, you got the heart suit, we got diamonds, we got clubs, we got spades, and we do have two jokers. So it looks like they play, uh, you know, a role as, as action, event cards, so on and so forth. But then they may also like, be relevant as their suits and hands. So find more when we play it, but right now you're just seeing what's in it. They are a very nice got a back that resembles a old timey poker deck. And they also are very thick and have a they have the what's really nice is some of you probably can't see it, but they have that brushed finish without being brushed. So they're still smooth. They're still smooth which is nice. I prefer smooth because when you have linen finish, they stick together unless you, you know, want to rub together, unless you, um, uh, unless you sleeve them and then you made them smooth anyway. So nice quality. So if you get the Cowboys 2, Cowboys and Indians edition, you will get 12 Cowboys. You will get the deck of cards. You will get standy holders and two dice. You will get yellow cubes, that means something. You will get baggies, which are always important. You will get two sheets of counters. Everything fits nicely. I don't know where the can't where it's gonna go where the counters are, I guess. Two player reference cards with solo reference on the back. You will get the rule book that also has the solo rules. You will get the scenario booklet instead of cards, but hey, you know what? Can't have everything. With 22 episodes. To play through in varying lengths. You will get the bonus, well I don't know if you get the bonus episode in the retail version. I'm going to ignore that. I was just showing you what you got in the Kickstarter possibly. In fact this is Kickstarter exclusive. So you will not get this if you did not get a Kickstarter edition. 
And then you'll get 12, you get six boards, double-sided, so you have 12 maps to assemble in a variety of ways to play out your scenarios. And you get a sleeve wrap, if you like those things. All in Cowboys 2 from Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!